Are we doing the first quarter? The root first? I can be a Clint. I will say still. I forgot to get my mic. Damn it. I mean, it's, Damn it. <laughs> it's working. But you're doing the audio on that? Yeah, I'm trying not to move too much. Because these little clamps on the side. Just put a mic on. I just didn't feel like getting up. But I'm about to. Oh, like, yeah, like just, we should just do it right before we put this shit on. What's going on? So we're using speed grip 06417 for like comp composites in general. Good for bonding them to metal and two other composites. Right now, that is definitely raining. Is there any rules to like how much you put in one spot? Well, you just don't want it to blob out. So treat it like Elmer's glue? But you also want to you want to cover all of the bare metal or it'll just rust. I don't know that I don't remember. They always that. told you to use a little bit, don't use a lot. But as a kid, you never listen. Yeah. You just, then you use a lot and yeah. then it's like a big soupy mess. <laughs> well, I used to stay doing that on projects. I don't know where you guys went to school, but... <laughs> having fun spreading that Elmer's glue around? Honestly, it's pretty therapeutic after that paint job failure fiasco. <laughs> we should be coming to them on what? The next Lexus video? Was this coming out before the Lexus? Yeah. You can't be telling them that though. Okay, so this will be, yeah. There you go. It's finally happening. The last time we will be mounting the quarter panels. Putting that good old epoxy in one with whatever it is. Practical term, I don't know. I don't think there'll be many people doing this to their car. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you understand Elmer's glue when you're gluing on your carbon fiber roof at home. Um, how much your insurance company would give you if you crashed your full carbon Datsun? That's what I'm thinking about. Let's not think of it. So we should. We need another. We need another Datsun to make more quarter panels and a roof and buy a new car. Is that like you heard it here first. In the ground. It's raining indoors. No. Nah. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> no, you nasty. I will drink it. What? Hell no. <laughs> Make sure y'all invest in clamps. Clamps are expensive too. That's why I need to invest. I used to see these clamps. I used to go to the Tamiano's tech class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're seeing it first. It's so all coming to an end with having to keep taking on and off the panels. <sighs> Man, I got a piece Hairball? Of, oh, dust. So. Uh, if y'all didn't know, he has his little duck bill come in. Hopefully I had this on my face. So we're gonna be mounting that up so you can get that wind airflow he was talking about. Greg is over here inspecting. Need a clamp. Doing tech. He's a certified tech inspector. Don't worry, I figured it out. I figured what out? I don't know, I was just talking. Okay. Not much. That I'm basically oh, useful. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, ah, I just got hit in the back of the neck. Right here. Here. Drop top. <laughs> Press them again while they're hard. Over here, tripping over clamps. Yo, you tripping, man. Tripping? You tripping, man. You got a little excess around the edges, just wipe them down. Yeah, wipe it into the seam. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, oh, another okay. alert. Good lord. It's bad out here. It really? Damn, we had the, the forerunner ready. We can go just take that out and go on some. Uh, Get stuck in the radio. Puddle runs. Find some puddles. Uh, change from 745 to 945. Your boy done fully converted his car. All right. Insight. Insight? Need, need some details. Wait, how plain are you trying to go? You just use the 
Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue epoxy. AKA speed grip. Carbon fiber wrap. That's <laughs> super. That's all you gotta do. Just wrap it keep, keep your car glue. exactly steel and everything, and then just wrap it in some carbon fiber. Dude, you know fake. Time people. Oh. Dude, everyone's gonna come. That's fake. It's fake. It's not real carbon fiber. Forgot where I was going with this. I don't know. I'm happy though. It's exciting. Any tips or tricks? Advice. Tricks of the tree. Um, make sure your epoxy or bonding agent has a good amount of time. I, if I didn't, this has like 30 minutes of cure time. So if I was, well, working time. If I was working with something with like five minutes, I probably would have only done the roof first, let it cure and set up. And also check and see if your epoxies or whatever you're using has any shrinkage to it. This doesn't shrink at all, which is nice, because otherwise it'll set and then it'll shrink and it can warp your panel or anything like that. But yeah, make sure you have a, a lot of clamps. I actually didn't have enough clamps, but I ended up using a, I I'll drill a hole bolts. through the back of here. Cause that's where actually my tow hook's gonna mount, but I drilled a hole through there and ran a bolt. So that held it. So uh, that's that. Yeah. Worked out. Yeah. It should be about dry now, but I'm gonna give it maybe 10 more minutes. Take all the clamps off. Gonna throw the doors on it and put the foot on Ooh, it just cause, it's sexy for a cause it'll look, look cool. And then once again, for anybody that missed, gonna be adding one or two more layers. One more layer of carbon fiber. Yeah. So now we're just... Both doors already have four layers. So doors are done. Doors are done. They just need some finishing on the outside. That one definitely needs finishing on the outside. Needs another coat of resin. Sand the resin flat. That way you won't see any uh, texture. Yeah. And then some matte clearing. Can I go my clamps? Quarters need to be sanded. Another coat of resin. Another layer of carbon fiber across the whole thing, getting rid of that seam. Another coat of resin, sand it flat, clear it, done. Same thing with the hood. The hood needs, it's got three, uh, three layers on it. It needs one more. But I'll straighten out the hood a little more. Since it had a lot of panels that overlapped, well layers that overlapped, and it, they got a little big, so I need to cut it down flat, make sure it's all straight, do the last panel. You hear the ice cream? Yep. I don't want ice cream. We should find. We should find. You know, you, you know that like the the um, ice no, cream man, a ghetto ice cream man, because it puts the clap clap in the background. <laughs> and it, like it's, it's, it's not the normal, normal. dude. Yeah. Wait till you hear it. So what did you cut the door for again? I don't think I got that. Um, the seat actually gets in the way. Is this right here? But uh. So I have the window channel that bolts in here, there, here, 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 and I think there's two also, and one up here. So the window channel's all held in there, and I'm gonna put a bar across here, but it'll just be lower profile and stick with the window. It might even bolt right into the window. So it'll be a little tighter, and uh, yeah, I just need a little room for the, the side bolster on the seat. Where did, where did you get your window from? <laughs> what do you mean, I made it. The slide. Oh, you mean part? the slidey guy? Yeah. From, uh, I forgot what it's called. Plastics for performance. Okay. That's what it's Some guy hit me up on Facebook asking about it. Yeah. I told him I was at, I'll ask, but I always forget. Gonna start that. Oh yeah, let's start this real quick so we have double footage. The door. Is on. Barely. How are you gonna tape off the jams? Oh, like tape off. I'll just, I'll just like. Tape the carbon, back tape the jam, spray that black, untape the carbon, matte clear everything together. Oh, you want matte clear the door jams black? Yeah, well, because that'll be cleared with this as well. Did you decide what color you're gonna paint the engine bay? No. Yeah, I so. Okay, so you're not doing black. No. Are you gonna matte clear or are you gonna have regular clear? Regular clear. From um, like this line in will all be twice. Damn, I'm sorry, why y'all be so fancy? Got a carbon cutout been just for his that. exhaust. It's been there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm just not. That's like the original carbon fiber piece right there. There you go, the most original carbon fiber. That was one of us. Uh, that was a cut off of one of the undersides of Ken's uh, spoon S2000 bumper diffusers. Oh, I got Whatever. that same carbon fiber on my car too. For yeah. my <laughs> side exit exhaust. Nobody nobody ran it on our easy car. It's a, it's a spare carbon fiber for everyone. <laughs> they basically just sent us big sheets. 
yeah. of carbon fiber for free. No one put them on their cars because they were gonna scrap, like destroy their front bumper anyway. And it sounds like Greg is about to get some, uh, or oh, something. from a barbecue place. Where are you looking? Blue Pit Barbecue. Yeah, right. Oh, we should go to the Banditos Bar. It's done. What do we got to put the front on now? Oh, it's like that just oh. takes two seconds. <laughs> There's the other clamp. Fuck, oh, God damn it. I could have used that clamp. Oh, whole time I was holding my radiator on. It's yeah, holding your radiator. Of course. Let it in Got the yeah, fire extinguisher mounted. Red chili Greg is just talking about food in the back. What's what's the name of this battery uh, mount? We said red line. Red line. R E N N. Oh, red line. Oh, they did the. Uh, I haven't been there. Uh, Kyle keeps on whatever me. mount that is. They fire extinguisher also. Oh, they both fire extinguisher and battery. Yeah. So red line. Always get your safety mods. Plan for the worst. Oh, um, even more neat. He got the headphones, so when he drives, you get some peace and silence. Hmm? I'm all about that driver. I said you got the headphones for when you drive, you got some peace and silence. Yeah. Put some headphones under them. Then you got music. Ooh. Mm. The one I do make, you don't get on the Okay, Larry Bird. Calm down now. Bird me. All right, seems like you might need a hand with this one. <laughs> Not that bird, man. Not that bird. Wow, he is showing the hood love again. Just a wipe down. Just real dusty. Oh, yes. yeah. Wiping off that, that green algae that just started to form. <laughs> <laughs> so we're mounting up all the carbon fiber panels that we can. So this one look as sexy as possible. Yes, that's, we don't need that's it. That's it. Six pounds. That's it. It's a one-man job. <laughs> it's a lie. This is question because nobody knows what they truly say in robot chicken. They either say it's a lie or it's alive. It's a lie, for sure. It's a lie, like L-I-E. Alive. Alive. It's questionable. It's alive. They say it's a lie. Not quit. God damn it. So good, dude. So the roof and both quarters are bonded for good. They're on there. For so anybody that do. is wondering, there you go. Yeah. That's how we do it. Wasn't too bad of the day. And we also made the new inner fender arch, guys. Oh yeah, that was that was real nice. Yeah. Now you got. It's crazy how much more sturdy everything is now that it's actually bonded. Because it was just sitting on there before. Does it pass the push test? Mm, pass. <laughs> <laughs> test is that. That was, that was, that was your test. fingers. <laughs> yeah. And it's on there. All, all of this metal on the bottom here is all cut off. That's just only carbon. You can probably see it from the inside. For those, yeah, so you this is going to get clear. I just want to start. Yeah, don't, don't worry about, about that. Don't worry about that. This, is, a, this is this water drip right here that's dripping right now. This car was just over right here. So that's going to be addressed. Along with the leaky ceiling. Yeah. But it's this not week. Gonna stop us. Uh, oh, yeah. You said you was going to show. Oh, damn. I got to still the flashlight right quick. Let me see to hold this so I can show them that. Oh, can, can you, you even see, see it? it now? Probably. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Yes, yeah. That metal. So, yeah. So, all of that is going to have to get like 
uh, undercoated. So I'm, I'm trying to find some undercoat that will uh, get rid of some of the noise of rocks getting hit up and all that stuff. So anybody that knows anything, throw them recommendations in the comments. Mm -hmm. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, what else? Like we say, you got the fuel cell in, mm -hmm. fire extinguisher, battery mount, seat, invisible dash, invisible steering wheel. Invisible. They're over there. Uh, dusty. Dusty steering wheel. Coming soon. Dash is also dusty, chilling over there. That's dash just needs uh, another coat of resin on it and then some matte clear. So things are definitely coming along. Yeah. And I. Let me trim this guy because the seat bolster actually got in the way. Now she did. Yeah, she she good though. And we're just wrapping it up for the day, so that's about it. Don't have much much else to say. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for y'all know what the to cool do. Stuffs to come, so. <laughs> cool stuff. Don't worry about it. Ah!